Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another day, another walk in the forest. I start my morning off every single day, well I try to anyway, with a lovely walk in this beautiful forest. Gets me outdoors, puts her to sleep and get my steps in for the day. Anyway, I hope you're doing really well. I'm going to take you along for the day and show you what I eat yet again. If you're not bored of this, then feel free to stick around and continue watching. Um, I have lost 55 pounds so far eating whole food plant-based diet with the principles of calorie density to guide me to build my plate. That is what has enabled me to eat massive portions of food without ever counting calories or restricting portions at all. And I didn't do any crazy exercise, mad workouts or anything. It's all about the food people, it's all about the food. And once you get that right and you learn how to stay consistent by building up some core habits and making it really easy for yourself, then it is effortless and you get to eat delicious food and the weight literally falls off you. Anyway, that's what I've done and I am on a journey to lose the last 10 pounds. So uh, yeah, I'm going to show you what I eat today. Um, I have no idea what it's going to be yet, but I'll take you along for the ride. So I just, I was thinking while I was going on my walk, I do a lot of thinking on my walks and I was thinking because it's Monday morning today and I was thinking about Monday mornings and what they used to mean to me. I did not enjoy a Monday morning in the past um, because it used to be the start of, I'm going to eat super healthy this week. I'm going to work out every single day. And I used to have these really high expectations of myself on a Monday morning or, you know, obviously, obviously it's also, you know, beginning of the month, new year, but every Monday morning I would say to myself, come on, Amy, you could do this. Just, it's all in the, it's all in the mindset. It's all in the motivation and the willpower. You can do this. Just don't eat that Ben and Jerry's. And you know, when you go out to a restaurant, just, you know, don't eat that pizza. That is so unrealistic. Um, so now Mondays are completely different to me. Monday is just a regular day because I decided to put in place some habits that actually make this easy, this lifestyle easy for me and enjoyable and effortless. Um, so yeah, Monday's just another day now, which is absolutely incredible. You know, when I eat this way, I love every single meal that I make. I have learned how to make food that I thoroughly enjoy. So I never feel like I'm missing out. Every day feels like an incredible feast for me. Um, I don't know if you've seen my meals, but you know, I love them all. So I never feel the need to start a diet on Monday because I found a way to lose weight whilst eating incredible food, any kind of food I want. So anyway, just thinking about that, you know, try not to let Monday mornings be that for you. In fact, I was thinking it would be even more powerful if you didn't start on a Monday. Start on a Thursday afternoon. That'll really give you a kick. That'll be breaking the mold and you know that you've done it for a really good reason. You're not doing it because it's Monday. You're doing it because you want to start right now, no matter when it is. You want to just get started. You don't have to, you know, have a weekend of indulging and gorging and then you start on Monday. That is so irrelevant. That is so not the point of this way of eating. Enjoy your food every day, but start right now making these changes. And you don't have to make all the changes all in once. You can start small by building habits of just eating vegetables. If you want to have, you know, takeout, but with broccoli, or if you want to eat a pizza, but have broccoli. And if you want to just have, you know, fruit as your snacks to start with, or if you just want to start with a consistent breakfast of porridge or whatever it is that you love, start small. It doesn't have to be overwhelming and you don't have to do it all in one go because small little habits build up over time and that is what creates consistency and that is consistency is really what leads to overall success and building up these habits making it easier for yourself so anyway if you are thinking about you know jumping into this way of eating to lose some weight or just to feel healthier um you know to regain some energy don't start on monday don't start next month. Don't start at the beginning of next year. Start it right now. I'm talking to you. If you are thinking about it, just do it now. Anyway, that's what I wish I would have told myself, you know, a good decade ago. And it's really sad that I didn't have my current self to listen to, but hopefully you guys can take something away from this. Just start it now and start incorporating small things into your life. And if you're not quite sure where to start, um, feel free to check out my seven day meal plan, which is super comprehensive. It gives an explanation of all the things that I eat um, and how I kind of put my plates together and all that kind of stuff, as well as my absolutely favorite recipes. But I also do offer a one-to-one -one coaching. If you guys want actual help, if you're really struggling, let me know. I would love to help you out. Um, anyway, just my thoughts on my walk. 
sorry about the noise in the background i'll see you at home when i have some breakfast um i'm thinking about something different this morning oh maybe something extra tasty so somebody over on instagram was asking about calories um and how many calories i eat how many calories i burn and you know what that is a fantastic question and this is something i used to ask all the time um so really for me, I actually have no idea how many calories I eat and how many calories I burn. And that sounds absolutely mad. But what I do is I eat using the principles of calorie density. So that means I eat things which are lower than about 600 calories per pound. So that's fruits, veggies, legumes, and um, you know all those lovely starches and grains and stuff, potatoes, uh, rice and beans, all those things. So when you do this, you get to eat loads of food and still keep the calories super, super, low um so get loads of volume but low calories so the other reason where why it's so irrelevant to track calories is because every day is different um and every person is different we all have completely different calorie requirements you know at the moment i'm a breastfeeding mum and i like walking a lot sometimes i go for runs so i'm moderately active um so yeah so obviously you know, I might say I eat 2,000 calories every day. That doesn't mean that's what you should do. And it also doesn't mean you should count your calories. But what you should do is you should lower the calories from where you are right now. Because if you are maintaining your weight right now, if you lower the calories from where you are now, even marginally, you will be in weight loss mode. So it really doesn't matter how many calories you're eating at the moment. If you are maintaining, you just need to lower it and then you'll be in weight loss mode. And then eventually you'll hit a plateau because everyone does. And as your body gets smaller, you just need less fuel to function. And that's totally fine. So when you get to that plateau, you just need to slightly lower your calories again. So then, yeah, so you can either up your veggies or do a little bit more walking or, you know, I switched, for example, really, really small things. Like I switched my oat milk for soya milk. That saved a good hundred calories a day because I have quite a few teas. So you can be really smart about the small changes that you make to your diet without it being super overwhelming. And you never actually need to know that magic number. Even if you did know that magic number of you know, 1800 calories a day, that is irrelevant because it does not mean you're gonna stick to it. And you also don't wanna spend the rest of your life counting calories and weighing and measuring everything. That is so not what this lifestyle is about. So wherever you are right now, if you are maintaining your weight, the only thing you need to do is slightly lower your calories from where you are. And the best way to do that is by using the principles of calorie density to guide your plate decisions and to guide what you put in your mouth. So get in more veggies, get in more fruits, maybe focus on loads of potatoes and grains instead of pastas and breads. Pastas and breads can still be a fantastic part of weight loss, but if that's every single meal, maybe switch to focusing on the, the you know, the grains and the potatoes and stuff. Or just, you know, if you have, so if you have oat milk, maybe switch to soya, it can be really small changes. You know, for me, one of the things was, I was doing a lot of nighttime snacking. Um, this would be healthy stuff like, you know, sometimes some apples and PB2 or an oat and banana cookie or five. Um, anyway, but cutting out the nighttime snacking when I wasn't actually hungry was a massive game changer for me because my body didn't actually need those calories. I was habitually snacking every single night. So there's a few things I did to break that up. I started brushing my teeth when I put my little boy to bed at seven o'clock after we have dinner, I brush my teeth and that is a signal to me to say no more food unless I genuinely am hungry and I genuinely need some food in which case by all means I'll have some but more often than not that was not the case I've also started having a cup of tea at night and oh yes I know and I also try and preoccupy myself with either some good conversation or maybe a game or a good movie or something I if I felt the need for snacking I would try and switch up my routine to shock myself out of it so anyway there's loads of different tips and tricks that you can do but in terms of calories, you don't need to know that magic number. It's so irrelevant. All you need to do is reduce your calories from where you are if you're currently in maintenance mode. You only need to do it marginally, maybe like by one or 200 calories, if that, and you will see progress. Then when you hit a plateau, do it again, do it again, until you get to where you want to be. And that is the magic of it. No numbers needed, no you know, counting calories, no weighing and measuring. It is just that simple. Reduce from where you are. Anyway. I hope that helps for anyone who was also wondering about counting calories because this is a question I asked all the time as well and now I see it in a completely different light. Anyway, I'm at home. I am going to go and make some breakfast. I need to figure out what on earth I'm going to make. It is, oh, it's quarter to ten and I am oh, moderately snacky. So let, 
let me see what I have got for snacks. So one thing that is guiding my snack choices, my meal choices this week, is that I'm working on my meal plan. So usually I would probably just opt for porridge uh, with all the fruit. Although I'm running, no, 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 I've got loads of fruit. No, I've got loads of fruit. Yeah, I'd go for porridge and fruit. But today I am doing some funky stuff. So I am going to do a mm, mango sticky rice. I think I'm in a ricey mood at the moment and I'm going to have mango sticky rice in my meal plan, which I'm super excited about. So I'm going to do some mango sticky rice and um, that's going to be delicious. And I'm going to do it in my instant pot. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm going to go do that. So. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I have just put everything in my instant pot and I'm going to whack that on for four minutes. I am trying a new version for myself without any sweetener. So I'm going to see how it goes. I've never tried this without sweetener before. I usually do like maple syrup or brown sugar. So anyway, I'll keep you updated, but I'm very excited. So I thought I would just give you a little update. So I've got the mango sticky rice on. It's 11 o'clock now. I'm still waiting for it. I'm getting hungry now. Anyway, um, I have a little bit of recipe testing going on. So I'm making some oat milk. Thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> I'm making some oat wraps. And I'm going to use that throughout the next few days. So I'm really excited about that because wraps are, wraps are fine. But oat wraps, keeping it so simple and also keeping it really cheap and affordable um, is fantastic. So anyway, oat wraps. And then I'm going to cook up some of these black beans. I've got some sweet potato and I've got an image in my mind of like oat wraps with black beans, sweet potato, maybe some avocado. Mm, it's going to be good. Anyway, that's what I'm making. And um, Rami... This girl's gone crazy because she's still refusing to sleep. Keeping it real, guys. I'm sorry if you don't like a squeaking baby. Feel free to unsubscribe. This is my life. <laughs> so I'm currently trying to, I'm currently figuring out how on earth to chop an onion with a baby that refuses to go down and just squeals. She wants to be held. She wants the onion, but I need to chop it. <laughs> Do any of you guys also experience the same difficulties? It is so hard to make food. She has just got attitude today, I tell you. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best. I'll I'll see what I can get done. So my strategy is to be on the floor with her. I've given her some potatoes as a distraction technique and an extra onion so she doesn't feel like she's missing out on the onion action. And I'm gonna try and chop this on the floor real quick before she comes near the knife. Anyway, wish me luck. Sometimes you've got to do strange things when you've got babies. Oh, bad onion, bad onion, sad times, sad times. Okay, no distraction onion. Let's just move quickly. Oh no, she's coming, she's coming. <laughs> Guys, so I'm just outside with Romy who is, I think, eating grass. Anyway, who knows? Anyway, I've got my breakfast. It is very, very, very exciting. And my unsweetened uh, version went down so well. Oh my God, I'm really excited about it. Maybe it's because my taste buds have adjusted, but you do not need the sweetness in this, honestly. So here we go. I have got mango sticky rice. Um, and I've also, I didn't want to just have a full bowl of mango sticky rice. I could have, but I wanted to lower the calorie density further. So I've got an apple and loads of frozen berries because that is the fruit I had on hand. You could literally do any fruit that you wanted. Uh, but that's what I had. And this is going to be very filling, extremely delicious. And I'm so excited about it. I may just mix everything together. Um, and I've got my Brazil nut on the top there for my selenium. And I've sprinkled some hemp seeds on top as well. I would have loved sesame seeds because that would have been the vibe, but didn't have any. So sad times. Anyway. It's going to be lovely. I'm going to go and eat this and I'll see you guys when I have some more food. I've, um, yeah, I'm prepping loads of other stuff for lunch and for things in general. So I'll show you guys in a little bit. Um, I did want to say I made a massive batch of this. So you can literally just make a huge batch um, and then have it for all the breakfast that week if you want to. I did two cups of rice. So that's going to keep me going for quite a while. So you may see this featuring again and again and again. Anyway, or everyone else in my house will eat it. Who knows? No. Okay, so I just wanted to say how incredibly delicious and sweet this is. I really was quite skeptical in terms of the sweetness, but adding those berries in and that apple, oh, I tell you, it changes the game. Um, also, like, load up on berries. They are so full of antioxidants. They are so low in calorie density. They are so sweet and so delicious. So if in doubt, get those berries in. Hello. So it is now three o'clock. I haven't had lunch and romy has been asleep for the best part of three hours. This is a reoccurring theme, I think. It's because she's not sleeping at night, so she's making up for it by sleeping during the day. Anyway, that's fine. We need to head out and go and pick up Abe. So let's do this. You ready, Rams? Let's go, Peanut. 
Um, so I haven't had lunch yet, but to be fair, I had a late breakfast at around 11ish, and I'm not super hungry, so I'm happy to have food when I get back. My beans are ready. I'm gonna make my oat wraps. I hope it's not too cold outside because this is all I've got on. Oh well, we're gonna have to run. Come on, run step. Come on, baby girl. So, so may have lunch and dinner, or may just have one massive big dinner. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, I'll uh, yeah, keep updated. Bye. <laughs> You know what, it is quite nice having your baby on you at all times and not having to worry about a push chair. Plus, good extra workout. Anyway, bye. Hey guys, so we are back from picking, you love it, oh, in fact, that's fantastic. So we're back from picking Abe up and I've just got some oat wraps on the go. Abe's thoroughly enjoying them. The recipe I'll be posting later, that is them. Oh my goodness, they're gonna be very yummy. I'm just eating, scrounging some leftover rice because I didn't have lunch and I'm getting pretty snacky. So I'm just eating some leftovers of that and I've got my <clears throat> delicious black beans going on in here. So we're gonna have so oat wrap, black bean, avocado, sweet potato combination. And I'll show you that in a bit. So dinner is currently being made and obviously I haven't had lunch and I'm actually getting really hungry. It's four o'clock. So I'm going to have Firstly, a nice big dinner. Um, and secondly, I'm gonna do a little bit of preloading. So I'm gonna go and grab a couple of carrots and maybe an apple. I'm gonna snack on that while I'm making dinner to keep me satisfied. And if I feel like I need something else, I might just have some rice or something. Anyway, I'm gonna go and do that. Mm. Much better. Okay, so I had an apple, feeling much better. Let's prep the rest of dinner. So I've got some sweet potatoes hiding back here. There we go. So I've got some sweet potatoes. I have also got some. Oh, some avocado. So we're going to do sweet potato, avocado. I've got broccoli going on in here. I've got my oat wraps over here. Although the, the kids keep eating them so I may not actually have any at the end of this anyway that is going to be good and I am doing let me show you I am doing the oat wraps as a recipe over on Instagram so feel free to check that out but I tell you these babies are so simple and delicious so I'm excited for these. So guys, I have got my <clears throat> oat wraps with my black bean, sweet potato, avocado, but I really wanted some tomato. So my husband James has just nipped out to the shops to get some tomato and hopefully find me some courgettes and some more grapes, because that is what I need in my life. Anyway, I've also got my broccoli all cooked up, although I let it go a little bit longer, longer than I would have liked and it's a little mushy, but that's okay. Anyway, I'll show you my plate when it's ready. So I'm getting very hungry now. They're still not back from the shops. They should be coming back any minute. I have had a little bowl of rice and beans to keep me going because I was getting starving um, and I'm still really hungry. So to preoccupy myself, we are sorting out the usable nappies and all those things. Um, so yeah, just to kind of take my mind off food because I am very, very hungry, but I don't want to eat anything else because I really want to enjoy this lovely dinner. So anyway, oh, I need to figure out a new kind of timetable to eat. Now that Romy sleeps for such a massive amount of time from like 12 till three, that's generally the time that I would probably eat lunch. And I'm not really hungry for lunch before that. And then after that, I need to go out. So anyway, I need to figure out a new timetable for myself because this just isn't working. I like to have three meals a day. And oh, goodness me, she's wrecking, completely wrecking the, <laughs> the dryer, lovely. Um, anyway, I'll have a think about that, mull it over and see what I can do. Anyway, I think they're coming back now, yay! With the tomatoes, I'm gonna put it on. I'll show you what it looks like and then I'm gonna eat. Anyway, bye. So it's very rainy, but I'm very happy because I have a delicious feast right here. So I've got my oat wraps, I've got my black beans, I've got some sweet potato, avocado, tomato, which I love. And I'm just pairing that with some, uh, I know I've got some veggies in there, but I'm pairing that with a head of broccoli and some grapes because uh, why not? Anyway, um, I'm getting rained on, but I just want to show you my food and it's crazy inside, so I can't be really talking there. But um, this is going to be a good lunch slash dinner. I may have something later. I may not. I'll let you know. Anyway, going to go feast. So this is the next day, Amy, and I totally forgot to end 
um, my filming yesterday, but I had a delicious meal with the oat wraps and everything, and that kept me actually really full and satisfied. Then I had a cup of tea and I just did some editing and I just, um, yeah, just had a nice evening. So that was about it on the food front. Uh, but if you want to see more from me and you want to see what I'm eating today, um, then feel free to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.